Hey everybody, this is Birch. In the world of digital comics, um, we've been expecting this news for actually quite some time. Um, Comixology announced that it is shuttering its current app and current experience, and basically it will be uh, more integrated with Amazon. Um, and the kind of the standalone Comixology site, which was really kind of the last kind of remnant of the original company before Amazon bought them, uh, will go away, will be folded into uh, ultimately Amazon itself. Now, we knew this was coming. Um, it's, it's been, you know, pretty much on the books and, and uh, they were telegraphing this move for quite some time. Um, even before Scott Snyder announced his large uh, Amazon Comixology deal, there were uh, plenty of public statements saying that integration into the parent company was, uh, you know, was imminent. And they've had a number of open positions in the leadership kind of role, which uh, don't appear to be all fully filled. Uh, when you go and you look at what's open, several of the, the titles uh, or several of the roles are, have been reposted. And it looks like they're still looking for leadership in that area. Um, a bit curious. Uh, there's plenty of people, um, you know, who, who I think are looking for work in comics. But anyway, uh, regardless of all that. So what what does all this mean for you? And, and kind of we can go through a couple of the key points. Uh, first, if you've purchased comics from Comixology, no, your your comics are not just gone into the digital vapor. They're still there. Uh, this is more from, from your perspective as a customer. What you will notice is a uh, an app update. And when you open up that app update, it will look significantly different. Uh, they're promising uh, heavy speed improvements and indexing improvements, which kind of relates back to speed as well. So it should load faster, uh, deal, you know, be, be quicker and everything else. And I think if you look at the Amazon Prime app and you look at some of the other kind of Amazon uh, reader apps, uh, you'll get a you get a pretty clear preview of where things are going in terms of being able to uh, offline download and and kind of how search works and other things. They're, they're basically going to utilize shared services but between all of their different apps. But your comics and everything you bought will remain there. They won't uh, disappear still be in your library. Um, and there's no reason to believe that there will be any hiccups with that. Uh, I say this because the database that they've used to store this information has been shared already. So it's, um, you know, it, it, that, that makes sense. Um, and, but then the website will look uh, quite a bit different. Um, now, this is one of those where uh, I'm seeing a lot of people pretty pissed about this in comics. Um, I am not, and I'll explain why. So basically, the existing Comixology website uh, vanishes, and it will look like the it will look like Amazon. Basically, it will look if you're familiar with Amazon, it will look like Amazon. The same kind of uh, same kind of pages, same kind of books, same kind of everything. And um, you will need to finally bite the bullet if you are one of the few people, and there's not many left, who had a Comixology account, but you didn't have an Amazon account, and you hadn't, you'd, you'd completely avoided the the uh, Jeff Bezos Amazon as much as you could. Uh, you're not going to have that option anymore. You're going to have to fully commit to to Amazon. And when you purchase things, it's going to be done through the Amazon storefront and through that entire mechanism. So. It, it, this is one of those cases where if you've been an Amazon user, I mean, Amazon has spent now, you know, what feels like 20 years perfecting that system. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it certainly uh, operates uh, fairly smoothly. The checkout experience has a couple different options to it. They do different things for mobile and tablet and web and, and so on. And so if you are comfortable and familiar with the system, it's probably good news because the Comixology system at different times was... Uh, to be to be nice about it was clunky. It just didn't function uh, particularly well in some cases. And, uh, you know, if, if you got used to it, it was fine. But there was definitely there were outages, there were bugs, there were issues with how things got done. Uh, every time I say something like this, by the way, somebody will come into the comments going, I've always had a perfect experience every single time. And many have. You know, don't get me wrong. Uh, many are, are, are have been doing just fine with it. Um, but it has it hasn't been perfect, and you know by Comicsology's own admission, as they've published some of the bug reports and some of the outages and things, that you know there there have been bumps. So in theory, it, things will get more stable on you know fully integrated with the Amazon platform. Um, it is a uh, like I said, it, there's people predicting um, you know Heidi McDonald over on uh, the beat. Um, was definitely predicting that there will be uh, major uh, issues with all this and, and it will be a problem. Um, but 
uh, you know, it, it is, it, 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 this is one of those things where it's like, you knew it was coming. The big question mark was why it was, uh, why it took so long to, you know, to get there. Um, and, and so, you know, whether it's uh, audible or whether it's comiXology or whether it's Zappos or any of these kind of, uh, freestanding, uh, sites that Amazon has consumed, um, it folds in. Now, why does Amazon want to do this? Well, I mean, for obvious reasons, they think they can make more money off you this way. Um, when you go searching in Amazon for graphic novels, it's going to recommend more comics. When you're getting comics from them, you're going to get more graphic novels. If you're a comic customer, um, the one aspect of this that I think you should see as good news is that the, the likelihood of comicsology kind of evaporating or being shuttered uh, reduced significantly if it's fully folded into Amazon. Amazon is saying that, yes, comics are part of its core business. They are uh, committed to bringing these pieces together and have been one marketplace. And so the odds of them just getting kind of tired of comics and shuttering the whole thing drop significantly once they've folded it in. It becomes harder to do that. It's also a sign that they do view things like, uh, you know, hey, when we put out a TV show or we put on something on Prime, we can sell some comics off that. Um, Amazon has been touting and very pleased with the fact that uh, the Invincible show did very well on Prime and a number of people then came back and bought graphic novels on Amazon. And in their minds, uh, I mean, direct kind of quotes from them, um, they they absolutely view this as, hey, we can uh, we can tighten those purchases up. I mean, maybe uh, it's, you know, they, they have even speculated with things like while you're watching Invincible at the end of the show, it could pop up a little, you know, buy the graphic novel and you click a button and it takes you there. It takes you into the Amazon system. Those things become more possible when it's integrated. So if you're a, a comic customer, in theory, your world gets more connected. Now, for some, uh, that's just a pain. However, I would point this out, especially to people who have resisted digital. One of the values of doing this, and we're already seeing this in a little preview page that Amazon has put out around Comixology, one of the benefits of doing this is that, uh, you know, um, when you're reading a digital comic and you like it, it, it can recommend getting the trade. It, it basically can say, hey, if you don't want to read digital, here's a faster route to get some of the, you know, the, the printed versions that we offer on Amazon. Um, nobody is yet saying that, you know, Amazon's definitely not uh, saying that they're going to start offering you know, printed floppies uh, that, through their system. However, it, it, it's not outside the realm of possibility. It's something that, especially with Penguin Random House taking more of a control over that, their, that side of the aspect of it, they're an Amazon vendor. Uh, Amazon does tons of subscription stuff today. It's not uh, unthinkable that at some point, and comic shops will absolutely lose their shit over this, um, that you can just order a subscription to a monthly comic book right through Amazon. And that, you know, it's, it's also not inconceivable that Amazon can't tie the two together and say, hey, if you subscribed to, um, you know, to a digital comic, if you, if you subscribe to our uh, Comixology originals, which is like what the Scott Snyder deal did, um, you're, you're just going to get the comics. We're going to send them to you. If you're a prime customer, we're going to mail the physical stuff right to you. So, all, I mean, all this kind of stuff, that, that's, that's speculation for sure. Um, but they are teasing a lot of new features, exciting changes, integrations, and they make a point, even though this is a Comixology digital announcement, to keep mentioning print. And again, I don't think it's a coincidence that uh, the Invincible trades have sold so well off of that Prime show, and Amazon definitely looks at that as a, uh, you know, uh, they, as an opportunity, as they do. So it's it's uh, it's it's change. If you're a longtime Comixology customer and you were familiar with that interface, you loved it, you liked it probably a sad day um, for you. If you are um, fond of, of Amazon, you're probably, um, you know, it, then, then this is probably good news. So it will kind of break down that way. Um, one of the things that you might see on your screen kind of as, I've, uh, as I'm showing the Amazon stuff is that it is definitely going to, they're going to do more around showing uh, offers and promotions and things, you know, they're, they're going to try and do a lot of attached stuff. And um, it's it's hard not to notice. There's tons of manga in here. There's tons of Scholastic in here. Uh, they're, they're, you know, certainly plenty of comics, but they are not shy about uh, some of this other stuff. So anyway, we'll see how it all goes. But uh, 
that's the big news. Uh, Comixology, again, long suspected, long awaited, is finally uh, folding into Amazon proper. And um, that's, that's a little bit of what it will mean. So questions below in the comments. And thanks for listening.